well, we actually did it. We beat the Cleveland Indians. I'm in complete shock. I honestly thought that we would lose to Cleveland. I thought that, you know, we would probably bring it to five games and it'd be competitive, but ultimately, in the end, we would lose. And this team, who I considered to be a wild card team this year, once again surpasses my expectations and wins. I, you know, I don't even know what to say right now. I don't know if I should be shocked, mad, happy, you know, joyous, because the sad thing is I'm picking Houston to win the ALCS this year. I don't see us standing a chance. And I've also picked the Dodgers to go to the World Series. So if the Dodgers get there, we stand no chance of beating them. Um, I'm trying to be a realistic kind of guy. You know, I want to say to the people of Cleveland, I feel so bad for you guys. You know, your city has gone through so much to try to get a championship. And once again, the Indians fall short. And I hope one day they win. Um, I'm not going to say anything about the Browns because the Browns are just awful. And they're probably not going to win anything for a long time. But, you know, this was an Indians team that had Trevor Bauer, Carlos Carrasco, Corey Kluber. All these great pieces, and you were coming off an 102 win season. But just like so many times before, you fell flat, and that must be so devastating and so frustrating for them. You know, for me, we haven't made the playoffs in five years. But unlike most Yankee fans, I'm not going to brag about that. You know, we didn't deserve to make the playoffs the last five years because we weren't that good. This season, we've gotten further than I ever imagined, they've surpassed my expectations. Um, I'm still not sold on Severino. You know, after what I saw out of him in Minnesota, even though he had a great, I think it was game three he was playing, I don't think he can get the job done against the Astros. Um, Sabathia, to me, is a liability. He needs to be traded. We need to get something for him. Uh, Tanaka, you know, Tanaka's been a great pitcher. And what scares me about Houston is they're built completely right. They have great hitting and great pitching. We have hitting, but our pitching is horrible. You know, a guy like, um, you know, a guy like Gregarious can only get you so far. And judging Sanchez in the series, you know, they struggled badly, and that's really concerning when you're playing a team with Dallas Keuchel and Justin Verlander on it. I mean, if if you can't get hits against Kluber and Bauer, you know what what makes me think as a Yankees fan that these two are going to fare any better going up against that kind of firepower that Houston has. You know, this is a team that beat the Red Sox, and honestly, I thought that Boston would beat Houston. You know, looking at it on paper, it was a matchup that I was like, well, the Red Sox have Sale, Price, and Porcello. That should be enough to shut down Houston, and they couldn't get it done. And I'm not confident that New York will get it done either. Um, they're, to me, I think that New York's luck's going to run out. And I see this magical run ending, and I won't be disappointed if it does. If we get to the World Series, I will admit wholeheartedly I was wrong. And I would so love to be wrong, but I got to look at it from a rational, logical perspective and just say that New York doesn't stand a chance. Um, the only thing that can save us is if our pitchers go far, we start scoring runs, and we can get deep in the game with the bullpen because our bullpen is built very good. Houston's, it's a little up and down with what they have, and I don't really know what they have because I don't watch them. But Chapman, uh, Dylan Batances, uh, Robertson, and all of them, I would not want to face them if I was Houston if we get that far. But the main thing we have to do is score runs. We proved against Cleveland that we can do that. But Houston can score runs too. They can score lots of runs in a lot of time. You know, you look at that guy Bergman. Um, in the series against Boston. You know, he had a monster home run, I think, twice in the series. I remember game one and game two, Altuve, Bergman, a couple other guys, put the Astros up, you know, with great hits and great hitting. Um, even game four, Astros are down, Bergman, Altuve, you know, bring the Astros back into it. And I look at New York and I say, can we do that? Can we compete with Houston? You know, we lost five or seven games against them this year. I know that this isn't the regular season, but that's not good. We shouldn't be losing to this team. You know, this is a team that won 101 games, dominated the AL West this year. Um, you know, they beat the Rangers by 15 games. The Mariners were there. 
were part of the year, then they fell apart. The Angels were not even contenders in the athletics. Well, don't get me started on them. Um, this was a Yankees team this year that was competing with Boston all year. And, you know, props to Boston. You know, they had a great team. I picked them to be in the World Series. And I'm going to be disappointed because they're not going. And, yes, I admit that as a Yankees fan, I'm disappointed that the Red Sox are not there because I picked them against the Dodgers. That's what I wanted to see. I wanted to see Yankees, Dodgers, and we're not getting that. Um, but anyway, I just want to say good luck to New York. You know, also do good luck to the Nationals and Cubs in Game Five. That's going to be an interesting game. Um, I think that ultimately Washington will beat the Cubs, and I don't see them repeating. Um, I think it'd be interesting to see Cubs, Dodgers again. But I think that this is finally the Nationals' time to get out of the first round. So best of luck to them, best of luck to the Dodgers, whoever they play. But, again, I don't know what to think right now. So, and, by the way, too, uh, before I end the shout-out to my two new subscribers that I have, um, one of them is one of my friends that I know on Facebook. The other one is this great guy that I met, um, amazing human being. You should go check out his channel, too. Um, YouTube.com slash Bobby Gaines. Um, he's a Red Sox fan, and I've enjoyed talking to him about a variety of things on the Red Sox and Yankees. Um, he's one of the very few Red Sox fans that I respect. Um, he's an amazing fan of his team, and he loves them, and I've enjoyed talking to him. And, you know, Bobby, I hope that your team wins another World Series for you, and I hope that next year they come out and do better than what they did this year. And I agree with you. I'm disappointed in how the season went for them. But... Y'all take care. Thanks for watching, and hopefully for a first video, this went well.